Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we have a baking video for you and we're going to make some non-bake Rocky Roads. So these are all the ingredients that I'm going to use. I'm going to tell you what um, I'm using now. You can chop and change it. You can add bits, leave bits out, change the amount of chocolate, but I'll explain all that to you. Right, so to start with, um, it's the chocolate. Now the chocolate that I'm using is just milk chocolate but you can use a combination of milk and dark chocolate. So if you were doing milk and dark, you would use 250 grams of each. If you're just using milk chocolate, which I am, then you use 600 grams, okay? That's probably about as technical as it gets. So you've got your 600 grams of that. You've got 125 grams of golden syrup, 125 grams of unsalted butter, 100 grams of mini marshmallows, 200 grams of digestive biscuits and also you can use 200 grams of chocolate of your choice as well now i've got these audi version of the kinder little stick things but you can use anything that you want i thought they'd look quite cute in the middle because there's white bits in the middle that's why i picked that but you can also customize it and add other things as well so you can add cherries um, different kinds of chopped biscuits, dried fruit, raisins, currants, sultanas. You can use large marshmallows, cereal like cornflakes, rice krispies, that sort of thing. Um, and if you add like extra bits, bits in, just stick to a maximum of 500 grams. Okay, so don't go above that. Um, if you just want dark chocolate as a base, you don't want milk chocolate, if you prefer like dark chocolate, then only use 400 grams of chocolate if you're using dark chocolate. I've measured all these out for you. What we're going to do to start with is pop the golden syrup and the butter in a, um, a pan and we're going to melt it over a large heat. So let's put our ingredients in and we're going to melt these all down. So I have decided as well to pop some cherries inside and I'll show you how um, or what you actually have to do is to take out 100 grams of something else and put 100 grams of cherries in but I thought that would be quite nice so I've done that I just took 100 grams of the biscuits out and um, swapped it really so this is on just a low heat we're going to mix it around just until it's all melted and nice and smooth and then once it's done we'll take it off the heat right so that's all melted now so we're going to take it off the heat and move over to the other side of the kitchen Right, now we need to add the chocolate. Now, ideally, we could have had a bigger saucepan than this, but this one should be fine. Oh yeah, look, it's big enough. So you just have to mix it around and the heat from what we've just been doing will melt the chocolate. You just give it a good old stir until all the chocolate's melted and it's nice and smooth. And I have all my other ingredients ready as well and a big bowl. It's really easy to make this. It's great with the kids as well because there's not any oven involved. Obviously, if they're younger, just keep an eye on the hob, but it's quite good to do with them. So you can see it's starting to all melt in. I'm just going to leave that to one side now. We're going to add all of our other ingredients into the bowl. And I'm quite pleased I changed the amount of biscuits because I did see quite a lot. Incidentally, these that I bought from Aldi, they seem to have something crunchy in the middle. I'm not sure what that is, but they'll probably be quite nice. So we'll put all of these bits and pieces in. Let's just use this to put the cherries in. And then it's just a case of mixing this into the other mixture and kind of combining it all together. But hopefully these should be delicious and they don't actually take that long to, to make as well. And the time to pop in the fridge is just literally a couple of hours. So it's not, it's not long at all. So you do need quite a big mixing bowl to mix all this together. And how this is gonna fit in that pan, the, the, um, the tin that I've lined, it looks far too much mixture, but I'm sure it'll all fit. Right, so this is the tin that I've lined and it's said in the recipe to do a 20 by 23 centimetre tin. Can you see what I mean? It looks quite small, but I think you just have to cram it all in. So I'm just going to go around the other side of the camera 
this is what the mixture looks like and it's really heavy so I'm just hoping I don't drop it all so we'll put that in our tin and we'll squash it down oh yeah it's gonna just fit so they're gonna be nice thick slices which is good all right let's poke all that down let's just put this big heavy bowl down get that little bit that escaped because that's still okay because the worktop was clean so i think i did i get this from asda this tin i'm not sure so this is i say this is a 20 by 20 tin and that's just that's fine it fits it so i'm going to poke this down and then once it's all down and level what we'll do is we'll pop it into the fridge and as i said to you earlier on it takes just two hours in the fridge and then we can cut it up so we'll see you in a couple of hours guys as if by magic it's been a couple of hours now so this is what it looks like when you take it out of the fridge so because you've put the lined paper in it makes it really easy to lift out you don't have to have like a um, loose bottom tin or anything so I just lift that up and then we'll peel back the size I'm going to show you how thick it is because it is a real chunky chunky piece look at that that looks delicious doesn't it right so cut it up into chunks basically they said 16 pieces so we would need to go into fours um so let's go down the middle oh it's quite easy to cut actually and then if we go actually might be all right to go straight in there i was going to wipe it but it should be okay so then if i go again and then again and if my maths serve me correct and we do four again that should be 16. So let's pull that together because that looks like it's cracking a little bit over there. I don't think these are going to last for very long in our house. It does cut quite nicely and some things are actually really tricky to cut. So right, let's do that and we'll have a little look inside and see what they look like. Oh, look at that beauty. That looks delicious, doesn't it? And I'm really pleased I put the cherries in as well. Because, um, let's have a look at another bit. Because it's, um, let's get a middle bit. But the cherries add a little something, don't they? Let's get this bit. Some bits are a bit crumbly, but, but so some bits you get more biscuit in. And then in there, there'll be all the other bits as well. Right, I'm just going to plate this up. And then I, I can imagine we've got some young girls that might want some of this. Oh my goodness. Look at how delicious that looks. I just had a sneaky nibble of some of the crumbs and it is absolutely delicious it is gorgeous and you know what would be really nice because i like raisins so i might put a few raisins in next time as well obviously you can chop and change and put in what you want but it is so tasty never made it before so looking forward to handing this out so if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below if you want to make this and what you think about this recipe or who you think in your family might like this because i know lots of people that will so i hope you're all okay i hope you've enjoyed this video very very tasty and i'll see you all again soon you take care bye for now